Hello guys, as you can see I just randomly have a hole in my ceiling, so um, I guess we're gonna hop outside for this video, but that's not like it's something new. Anyways... So we've arrived here in the middle of a field. By the way, I'm switching to a British accent. I don't care. It's just, yeah, I'm doing it. Anyways, I, probably. I, I hope I can pull it off. If not, I don't care. Anyways, <laughs> so I don't think I've recorded a video this late in the evening as right now. And I'm already regretting it because there's literally a cloud of mosquitoes flying over my head. Uh, so yeah. But you know, never mind. Last week we talked about how to make your life more interesting. And today we're going to talk about how to actually remember that interesting life. Because people forget what they did a few hours ago um, and not to mention their whole lives. So I'm going to go give you a few tips and tricks on how you can actually remember your life so as to tell all the great stories that you have because everyone had something interesting happened in their life and also that will help you draw great conclusions from the past because reflecting on the past can help you plan for a better future so let's just run let's just jump right into it and the first tip is listen to music Dear Lord, I'm so grateful that this world has something like music in it. I cannot imagine just, you know, all the bad days or just, you know, my life without music is just so much better. Tell me what's the fifth letter of the alphabet? Yeah, you probably had to sing the alphabet song, right? I definitely do. I, I could not give you the fifth letter of the alphabet right now without actually singing it in my head. And that proves how much music helps us remember things. And not only that, it helps us remember things emotionally. Uh, two years ago, I was in Dubai and I was constantly listening to the same album over and over again. Um, Highest Hope, Florence and the Machine, highly recommended, fantastic. And every time I listen to it right now, I, I just, I, I close my eyes and I think I am in the Dubai mall sipping a coffee. It literally, it just, it just teleports me back in time and back into that place and that's crazy it's it's fantastic how music really evokes your past emotions it's proven by science uh, there was actually a study in which uh, people with concussions uh, people from you know that suffered from uh, car accidents were played music from before the car accidents and that actually evoked a few memories there's mosquitoes on my lens that actually evoked memories from before the accident, which is crazy. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, number two is something that I'm incredibly passionate about, like I'm passionate about killing all these mosquitoes. Um, but anyways, it's photography. Guys, we have a gift. We have the possibility to freeze a frame from life. You can grab a moment, the most intangible thing ever, and make it last forever. I think it's absolutely mind-boggling. I cannot believe, after so many years of shooting photos, I can still, I still cannot believe that we can actually freeze a frame from life and make it last forever. So, whatever you do, if you're having a nice breakfast in a nice coffee shop, just take a picture. If you're out with your friend, just take a quick selfie. Not for the sake of sharing it. If you want to, you can. But mostly for just creating a gallery of your life. Also, something that Johnny Harris talks about in his video, which I'll link right here, is that actually you have to go through this gallery and delete pictures every once in a while. Not all of them, just watch the video and you'll see. But 
it's really of an really an interesting concept of actually going through your gallery and deleting photos to remember your life better. Okay, the third method is actually quite similar to photography and it's videos. It's not much different, it's just a bit more in depth. It's a bit more emotional, I think, because there's also voice and movement. Um, so it can bring back very specific memories and very specific moments. So that's fantastic. Also do that. If it comes to photography and videos, make sure to have a good file management system. Uh, name folders by year, month, day and name of the event. And this way you will never lose uh, track of what happened when. Okay, the fourth method is something that changed my life completely and it's bullet journaling. If you haven't heard what bullet journaling is, make sure to do so. I'll definitely be releasing a video about it. To just quickly say what it is, it's pretty much anything you want it to be. It's a notebook that serves as a calendar, as a to-do list, as a movie list, and as a journal, as a finance tracker, as anything you want it to be. It's fully customizable and it generally lies on the basis of bullet points. So everything you write down in it, it's kind of a bullet point. And that's what I do every single evening. In these short bullet points, I write down what I did every single day. And that way, in 20 years, I'll be able to open my bullet journal from this year and look what happened on Friday, the 17th of June. And I'll be able to see that I was recording a video about how to remember your life. And that's fantastic. Another great perk about um, bullet journaling is actually that it stopped my time from rushing so fast or from being so slow. Once I wrote down what I did, once I started writing down what I do every single day, my time, I have a feeling that it just flows in the perfect pace. Not too fast and not too slow. Okay. The fifth thing you can do and the last thing you can do to remember your life is actually something that I have to be honest with you about that I have not implemented in my life yet but I've done a lot of research and I will be implementing this in my life just as I finish recording this video and it's memory timeline journaling. It's a concept, very simple one but something that I think really can make you remember your life day by day and it's based on a D Google Docs spreadsheets, for example, but you can also do that in your notebook or in Excel or anything you want. So what you do is you create three columns. The first one being the approximate date, the second one being your approximate age, and the third one being the, what happened, the memory, the event that happened that time. So whenever you stumble upon an unregistered memory, and but oh my god is that a rabbit <laughs> coming back whenever you stumble upon an unregistered memory what i mean by that that one that is not written in your memory memory timeline journal yet then you just open it up and write it down in the appropriate place and that's it and this way you literally create a timeline of your entire life and whenever you stumble upon a new memory, you just write it down and boom, you have your life recorded. So these are the five things you can do to remember your life and tell better stories, tell more stories, be more of an interesting person, but also to actually reflect on your past and be able to draw conclusions for the future. So let me know in the comments below which types of videos you prefer, whether you like me just doing these freestyle things, just talking to the camera and showing you a bit of the process behind the scenes like me coming here, or do you prefer these motivational videos? And please do not roast me on my British accent yet. I mean, I don't know. I don't care really. All publicity is good publicity. Every comment boosts engagement. So just hop right into there and I guess I'll see you in the next one.